At this point, I have 13 M. Graham watercolor tubes, and I am so glad that on my first visit to the Artist and Craftsman Supply, I grabbed an M. Graham brochure. I've referred to that thing so many times over the past year that it's begun to tear at the fold. The colors I want are starred, and each new acquisition gets circled. Their entire watercolor line is like 70 colors, so it's not unwieldy. Plus, all of the important info is on it, such as pigment numbers, opacity, light fastness, etc. I confess, at this stage of my life, not a lot of new learning sticks without frequent repetition. So brochures like that are handy. Sure, I could look it up online, but then I'd get distracted with catching up on email, social media, and videos about how to make furniture out of cardboard. Seriously, I've lost entire days that way. So, with the brochure in hand, here's the short and sweet lowdown on M. Graham's Quinacridone Red. It's made with PR209. It is transparent and staining, and has a light fastness rating of 1, which is excellent. PR, by the way, stands for Pigment Red. Don't laugh, but it took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that's how the letters work. Looking at this M. Graham brochure, they not only list the color index name, but also the common chemical composition of each pigment. And some of them kinda sound like drugs, right? I mean, if someone came up to me on the street asking me to hook them up with benzamidazolones, I'd be reaching for the pepper spray. Then again, it sort of makes sense. I mean, you ever get a heady sensation while painting for extended periods? Asking for a friend.
Producer Mike made so much food on Thanksgiving that for the following three days, we had pumpkin pie for breakfast. There's a certain satisfaction each time we empty out one of the leftover containers. Although I was sad when the mashed potatoes were gone. Packed full of buttery and sour creamy goodness, it was so yummy that I couldn't stop eating it, even after we ran out of gravy. I had fun with these mixes, even more than the previous two colors, probably because I hadn't really used quinacridone red yet. See? There's me getting woozy from a color high. Or maybe it was the camera wigging out. Yeah, probably the camera. Our trees have dumped their leaves all over the yard, and morning mist has colored things late autumnal Pacific Northwest. And although we aren't taking any day trips to enjoy the season, we do have critters visiting. That's why there's a stash of peanuts on hand. It brightens my day to open the drapes and find a couple of squirrels looking pissed off as if they were just waiting to say, someone slept in today, huh? They aren't all that cute, really. I swear, one of them must be a veteran of the Great Squirrel War. Kinda grizzled and a little gnarly. So I crack the sliding door open barely an inch, toss a handful of nuts on the deck with a clatter, and slam the door closed. Then I watch as they nibble away while staring at me with those beady eyes. That's the highlight of my day. I'm happy to share this quinacridone red mixing experience. Until next time, remember, cardboard is a construction material, and that toilet roll tube table isn't going to make itself. Stay artsy and craftsy, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>